Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limble's product team. Today, we'll be talking about how to bulk import parts into Limble. Importing your parts inventory is a great way to get immediate value out of Limble's part management system. This video will walk you through the process of using our sample spreadsheet to quickly and efficiently import your parts into Limble. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limble, your screen may look different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we get into the how-to, let's touch on some important best practices. You can import up to 5,000 parts and 50 fields into Limble in a single import. If you need to import more, batch your data into separate import files. We provide a sample spreadsheet, also known as the sample import file, that can be used to set up your fields and make importing easier. The spreadsheet includes sample rows to show you how to populate each field. You should remove those examples and fill them in with the correct data for your import. Within the spreadsheet, hovering over a column name will show you an explanation of what it's for and how you need to format the data to import properly. Field types such as text, number, or currency cannot be edited once created, so it's best to set up your fields with the correct field type in Limble first before your bulk import. If you misspell a column name for an existing field that's already in Limble, the system may bypass the intended field match and create an additional custom field, so be sure to double check that you've spelled everything as intended. Be mindful of formatting mistakes. If something is formatted incorrectly in your spreadsheet, you'll receive an error message about what went wrong, but checking for errors before you upload will save you any hassle. Photos, documents, or files of any kind cannot be bulk imported due to the limitations of CSV files. You can add your files manually once your import is complete. We recommend you do a test run with a small data set before attempting a large import. This gives you the opportunity to make sure your data is being imported correctly and everything looks as it should. And finally, be patient with the system. If you're importing a large data set, it will take the system some time to process the information. Before performing a bulk import, make sure any custom fields are set up in Limble first. Field types such as text, number, or currency cannot be edited once created, which is why we recommend doing this within the system. To do this, navigate to the Manage Parts page. Click on the Edit Visible Columns icon and click Add Column. Name your desired field. In this example, I want to add rating as a field for my parts. Then select your field type. I'll use the text type. Then click Create. When I configure my fields in the import file, I'll add rating as a custom field. We'll cover this again in just a bit. Now let's set up the import file. On the Manage Parts page, click on the Import Export button from the toolbar in the top right corner. From the dropdown, select Import Parts. You will be taken to a new window with a list of instructions. Download the spreadsheet by clicking on Sample Import File. Open the file. Do not remove or change required fields. For parts, the part name must be filled out for your import to be successful. This is what your part will be called in the system. Remember to use unique names for your parts. Using differentiators like measurements or brand names can help you do this. Now let's take a look at the optional fields. Limble offers part number, quantity, price, location, and category as default fields, so they're included in the file. The next four columns are related to thresholds and threshold tasks. We go over the significance of these in another video, but let's talk about the formatting. If you do not want to create any thresholds or threshold tasks in your import, set the value of the field to negative one. Otherwise, enter the number you want the threshold to be set to. You can assign these threshold tasks in your import by adding a user or team to the threshold tasks assigned to user or team column. This would be the user's login or team name. The user or team must be active at the location of import. Next, you can manually associate assets and vendors to a part through your import. You must use the asset ID or vendor ID here, which can be found in the asset or vendor card or by exporting your assets and vendors. Formatting would be ID followed by a semicolon. To associate more than one asset, add a space and then repeat the same process. For example, here I am associating asset 24 and 62, 
So the correct formatting is 24 semicolon space 62. If you don't need this information, simply delete the columns you don't want from your import file. Remember that you can hover over the column name to learn more about the field and how to format your data. The final field is optional custom fields. You can use and duplicate this field to import information for fields you already have set up in Limble. If you don't have any custom fields to include, you can delete this column. Since we set up rating as a field in Limble earlier, now I can enter that field in my spreadsheet and import my information. I'm going to change the name of this field to be rating and enter my data in the rows below. Make sure to double check that you've spelled the field name exactly as you have it in Limble. Spelling errors will bypass the intended field match and create an additional custom field. Once you've added your data, you're ready to upload. As mentioned earlier, you are limited to 5,000 parts and 50 fields per import. On the Manage Parts page, navigate back to the Import screen again by clicking the Import Export button and choosing Import Parts from the dropdown. Click Upload File, select your file, and then click Open. If your spreadsheet has any errors, Limble will define where those are and what you need to do to fix them. If no errors exist, your import will begin. In the new window, you can click on the blue text to see a list of all the parts being imported. When you're ready to proceed, click Confirm. Now your parts will be added to Limble. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can visit our Help Center anytime for lots of great information about the importing process, reach out to our support team, or talk to your Limble CSM to learn more.